Many people ask on why ethical hacking and security tools are made specific for Linux operating system and not for Windows. Now the question is obvious because most of the people are familiar with Windows operating system. Still, why do developers make tools which is based on Linux, which most of the people do not know? In this module, we'll be looking into various aspects through which we can understand why exactly most of the tools are made specific for the Linux operating system. In one of the sites of the Aircrack NG Suite, it was written that Windows is virtually useless for wireless activities. So if you do not know Aircrack, basically Aircrack is a suite of tools which are used for wireless security and wireless hacking purposes. And we'll be using Aircrack throughout our series. So in order to understand the point which was made by Aircrack, let's understand why did they say that. The very first reason why Windows is not used is because Windows is highly proprietary operating system. Proprietary basically means closed source. So basically Microsoft does not give you the source code of their kernel and various driver software. And this is the reason why it becomes very difficult to troubleshoot various problems. Uh, the one of the other reasons is because of the limited GUI. Uh, Aircrack NG Suite is basically specific for the Linux command line purposes and it has a limited uh, GUI interface. It is there for Windows, however it does not work as efficiently uh, as it does in Linux operating system and that is the reason why there is also outdated version of Aircrack NG Suite of tools which are based on Windows as compared to the Linux operating system. Uh, all the latest updates of the uh, Aircrack NG Suite comes first on Linux and then maybe after some months it comes on Windows operating system. So one of the reason why the security tools are not uh, made specific for Windows operating system is because Windows is a highly proprietary operating system. By that I mean it is closed source. So they do not reveal the source code of the kernel as well as the drivers that are installed. So it becomes extremely difficult to troubleshoot the problem because you are not exactly able to peek into the source code. Other thing is that a Windows is basically a graphical based. So the Aircrack NG Suite is specifically made for command line purposes. Although they have uh, the GUI uh, for Windows but it does not work as efficient as it does on the Linux through command line. So that is the reason why you also find that the Aircrack NG Suite are basically outdated as far as Windows is concerned. All the latest updates related to all I would say security tools are made specific for the Linux operating system and then maybe after two to three months they are ported to the Windows. Even once they are ported, they do not work properly inside the Windows operating system. So let us take a simple example through which we can understand this issue. So suppose you are driving in a highway in your car and your car suddenly stops working. So you call in a mechanic and you say to mechanic that you'll have to stay 5 feet away from the car and you'll have to fix the car. Well, do you think mechanic will be able to do that? Well, the answer is most probably no. This scenario is similar to the closed source softwares. So basically what happens in closed source softwares is you cannot look inside the source code. And so it becomes really difficult to troubleshoot your problem because you are not exactly able to look inside uh, the source code of drivers or even the software. So this becomes something similar to the Windows way of thinking. Since Windows is closed source, the kernel and even the drivers, everything is not permitted to be viewable by normal users. So let us take the example on what will happen if we change the Windows way of working to Linux way of working. 
So, same example, your car stops working, you call in the mechanic, but instead of telling mechanic to stay five foot behind the car and to fix the issue, now you give the whole architecture diagram of the car and you tell to mechanic that you are free to open any part inside the car, you are free to fix any issue as long as the car starts working. And this is basically what Linux way of working is. In Linux, everything is open source. So you can view the source code of kernel, memory management, driver software and anything that you want to. So it becomes really uh, much more easier than Windows in order to make and troubleshoot your problems related to various security tools. So in an abstract view, the reason why Linux is preferred specifically even for the Wi-Fi hacking and security analysis is because Linux is open source and most of the Linux distributions that are available all supports the Aircrack NG Suite. We'll be talking about Aircrack in the later videos. So one of the advantages of using Linux is as everything is open source, you can even code your own tools and exploits. So suppose you want some new functionality to be built in Aircrack, so you can make your own program and you can integrate it along with the Aircrack NG Suite and it will work just fine. However, still there is one problem in Linux and that is so suppose you want to install a program so what you'll have to do is first you'll have to download the setup file you'll have to resolve all the dependencies which are needed for that particular program you'll have to manually compile the program and then install it so there is some level of technical expertise that is needed and in order to do this there is also a lot of time that is consumed so in order for us to get working, we'll prefer a specific version of Linux operating system which is called as Kali Linux. And let us see why do we use Kali Linux. So there are a lot of hacking tools which are needed by the people who are working specifically in the information security domain to do various things like penetration testing, security analysis, etc. So downloading and resolving the dependencies and then compiling uh, for each and every tool becomes very very time consuming and sometimes creates a lot of problems. So what Offensive Security decided to do is they decided to build a Linux specific to the hacking tools. So what they did was they pre-compiled all the hacking tools and they released a Linux operating system which is called as Kali Linux. So Kali Linux basically comes with pre-installed hacking tools and the tools which are needed for analysis. So there is no need for us to install and compile any of the security tools. So it becomes very very easy for us to get going. I'll minimize the presentation and let's go to the Kali Linux machine to understand more about it. I'll minimize the presentation and I'll open the Kali Linux machine. So this is the Kali Linux operating system that we were talking about and one of the greatest feature of Kali Linux is that it comes with the pre-compiled and pre-installed tools which are needed related to the security analysis as well as security attacking. So here you can see the tools related to information gathering, password attacks, wireless attacks, even the forensics, you have RAM forensics, antivirus forensics and so many other things. So imagine you had to compile all of these tools in our operating system and manually resolve all of the dependencies. It would take you months in order to do this. So that is the reason why we prefer Kali Linux because it comes pre-installed with all of these tools and it becomes easier for us to work with it. So in the top 10 security tools, the first one you can see is the Aircrack NG. And Aircrack NG is basically used for wireless security and analysis. And this is where we'll be focusing most of our video series in. So coming back to the presentation. 
we looked into the basics of why we prefer Linux instead of Windows operating system. We looked into the basics of Kali Linux machine. And in the next module, we'll learn on how we can install Kali Linux in our virtual machine and getting started with the Aircrack NG Suite.